technology grows the wealth pie. Who could possibly be against that? But unfortunately, it also skews the distribution of the wealth pie. Who could possibly be for that? Well, CMU is a great location for the Block Center because if you're going to study the interaction of technology and society, then that's one of the most interdisciplinary problems on Earth. Carnegie Mellon, more than any other university, has a history of ignoring the borders between disciplines. That's exactly what we do. In addition, there's a lot of work very specifically going on at the moment, both in the policy arena and in the advancement of technology that informs what we want to do in the Block Center. I was recently involved in a National Academy of Sciences study on information technology, automation, and the future of work. What that study did was enumerate a variety of different forces that technology is exerting on the workforce. For example, um, Information technology, in part, is automating some jobs, as everybody knows, but it's also, in more cases than that, changing the nature of work, not by completely eliminating the job, but by providing a computer teammate to a person doing the job. So let's take an example. Think of the job of a doctor. They have tasks like diagnose the patient, uh, come up with possible therapies, discuss with the patient which of those therapies the patient actually wants to do, and bill, bill the patient. Okay, so those are four different tasks that bundle together to make the job of the doctor. What are we going to see in the future for the job of a doctor? Well, we'll see that computers will make an impact on some of those tasks more than others. So, for example, computers already are pretty good at billing. Um, they're getting better and better at diagnosis. There are examples where, uh, for example, in dermatology, computers can be competitive with expert doctors at looking at an image of a skin blemish and diagnosing whether it's cancer. So in diagnosis, what we'll see for that task is doctors will get more support from computers. On the other hand, the task of discussing with the patient what they really want to do, which of these therapies, is something that's going to remain a human-to-human -human task for a long time to come. And so what we'll see with doctors, as with most jobs, is not the elimination of uh, their job or the uh, sudden explosion of it, but what we'll see is a shift in the bundle of tasks that make up the definition of a doctor's job. So that in the future, maybe they'll spend less time on billing, more time on the discussion with the patient. For me, this is actually a very exciting opportunity to not only influence the world by releasing new technology, but to try to think through and understand through what are the implications of this, what are the possible futures that this could lead to, and how can we actually recommend policies that will, and perhaps change the types of technologies we're developing so that we can guide ourselves to a future that has the properties we really want. I find it just really interesting to be involved in the Block Center and in this multidisciplinary effort to understand and influence the future of work. <laughs>